Hello and welcome to the first tutorial on advanced love programming. In this tutorial we'll be learning how to save data. Now this tutorial is for people that already know how to program in love to d and Lua. If you don't, I'm going to leave um, two links in the description. One of them is going to be the playlist how to on learning Lua. The other one's going to be a playlist on learning love. Um, do it. It's useful knowledge. Now, to save data, you would need a table serializer. Now, what a table serializer does is it turns a table into a string, which then you can read back. Now, for this tutorial, I'll be using table serializer na made by mark go. Um, the code is here on the left of the forms. I'll link this page in the description too. Uh, to get the ta um, to get the library just do code select all, copy it and paste it into any um, file that you like and name it something and then make sure to require it. Now also make sure they have a T identity because if you don't have a T identity I think it will use the T title as a uh, T identity. Now this is just a simple game where you're block and you move around and you can save using K and then load using L. As you just saw there it went back. Now Let's look through the code. I'll provide this code in the description too. So this, you must have a table for this to work. So this table stores the player's x coordinate, y coordinate, it's width, height, and speed. This part of the code checks if this file exists. If it does exist, it will, um, it will if it does exist, it will load the existing file. If it doesn't exist, it will save initially. So, loading is done like so. Player, which is your table, is equal to load string, which is a Lua a function. And then you must get the string. Uh, Love.filesystem read, reads the file and we will s we should have saved it in player.sav because we also check if it exists now this returns the string which then load string loads into a table make sure you have <coughs> these other brackets here now saving is well pretty much the same kind of you do love.filesystemwrite to write a file, the name of your file, and then here comes the magic. Table.serialize, which is a function that we get from this library. The first variable should be the table, and these two are just the formatting of the save. This just draws the player that has nothing to do with it, and Key press just replicates exactly what we did there. I, if it if the key is equal to K, it will write, and if the key is equal to L, it will load. And that is pretty much it for saving and loading. That's that's it. You can save and load. See when I log back in, it's in the same position. If I like move to this corner and save and then exit of the game and load we're in the same position now just for as a heads up everything is stored in your app data under a file by the name of the t identity under the save under the file which you save um, that should be it if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment below thank you for watching and stay tuned for more episodes.